Dr. Jeffries spoke about uh, Europe having something called the Sixth Crusade, because they had about seven of them. And the Sixth Crusade was the crusade to sell white children to the Moors. There, for 200 years, there was a white slavery going on. And nobody's speaking about that as well. The whites that were over here. And another thing is also the disappearance of black people into places like England and France because black folks were taken or kidnapped from Africa and were taken into England to the point where the Queen of England at the time said, we got to get rid of these Africans. There's too many people. The, the, the population of Africans was, was greater than the population of the whites in England. So they had to ship them out, ship them to the Americas, either South America or to North America. The whites were over here as what they called indentured servants. Chattel didn't happen actually until Africans came along. But before there was an African slavery, there was a white slavery over here, and that's why it was so perfected by the time they started snatching Africans. They were perfecting slavery, and the first type of slavery that was started perfecting over here was done by the brutish Moors. That's why they call the brutish Moors the British Moors. That's where the British got their name from. The brutish Moors were the ones that were snatching the whites with the help of the northern alliance that they had at the time, who were made up of the Vikings, who they called Vikings. Some of the Vikings were black as well. They didn't let you know that too. Vikings was black. But the Vikings were snatching whites and selling them to the Moors, the, uh, the Omayyad Moors, who were the, actually the brutish Moors, who essentially under Hassan II were selling slaves white slaves across, the, across Africa and across Europe, because they were running Europe at the time through Spain, and they were going to bring that shit to the United States where the, 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 the Moors that were over here, who had established their own constitution, had their own land, was going to bring that here. But the Moors said, no, fuck no. We don't do that here. And that's what the Civil War was about. Civil War was blacks against blacks, not white against whites. They rewrote the goddamn history. After the Reconstruction, the Reconstruction rewrote the history where, see, whites couldn't be told. You cannot tell whites that they were servitudes. Whites, the whites cannot live with the fact that they were slaves. They, you couldn't expose the fact that there was white slavery, and that's why the reparations is going to fail here for dark folks. Reparations ain't going to fucking work here for black folks because the first time they get any kind of information about what it is that black folks um, was done to by white folks at the time, they're going to go back to the fucking moors. And they're going to go back to white people. And when the white people were here as slaves uh, for a couple of hundred years as well. So now, how do we get this dilemma? We got to go back into the history and find out what the Moors were doing. Why do you think we're still suffering like this? Karma is cause and effect. How come we so fucked up? We're the one who brought every goddamn thing to being. Well, we brought the art of war. Because if you remember, I said in uh, my thing with Brother Shabazz when I did uh, Code Breaker 2, I believe spoke about the fact that your boy Sun Tzu was a Jesuit That's right. <laughs> and that blew everybody motherfucking mind mm -hmm. and that he was one of the founding fathers mm -hmm. That's right. so if if there ever came a time when we begin to look back at the true history and, and there's a book out I forgot the name of the book they were slaves it was called I get to get the author for you but it talks about how whites were brought here as slaves most of the whites here matter of fact one out of every two whites that, that lived in the continental United States back in those days, or the continent of the North American continent, were slaves. And they worked as dishwashers, they were worked as, uh, what do you call it? They perfected the system, the chattel system through these whites, and so when they started snatching Africans, it was easy to bring the black Africans in, and then they had a status, when they got their status of white, of being white. White was not a, a color, it was a status. It was a status because you were known basically by your tribe, where you came from, what your religion was, what part of religions was you was, who was you worshiping, what, what, who was your sons and your daughters and all that shit, who were your fathers and your forefathers, were they the Saxons, were they the, uh, the, the, um, the, Norman, the Mormons, the Normans, all of these people. Who are these? Where did your people come from? The white was not, is not a, a race. It is a classification. That's why they have Moors that have statuses of white. If you understand the science of how this thing is working. So 
as far as reparations concerned, nobody has the whole deal. They can talk about what happened to us as peoples of color here on this planet, but there was white slavery and red slavery before there was black slavery. That's why the red getting the reparations when they getting all they, they 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 land back and all this shit. That's why whites gonna end up getting sla uh, reparations before you, because before it all, before black slavery, which was the worst slavery, because that was the time when they went into the chattel part of it. Because they had a bone to pick with peoples of color. Why? Because for all for those last three, four, five hundred years under the Moors, they were perfecting the system. The Moors had the highest system of education, of knowledge, and what you call. But there was a branch of those motherfuckers that were crazy. They were out their goddamn minds, and they started the system of madness that we are dealing with today. Because we, did, if we taught the whole fucking world everything they're doing, what you think is being taught back at us? What you think we're looking at? So yeah, I got a bone to pick with the Caucasoid because he should know better right now. But I'm sick and tired of the brothers not giving the real deal of why it is that when our revolution starts, do we know who this devil is that we're going after? We created the motherfucker.